After losing my hardcore status to sea engineer in a fight to the death, I promised that I would come back and push the limits of the hardcore Iron Man game mode even further. On my new account, I want to complete the hardcore Iron Man game mode starting with the wilderness. And if I survive this first episode, my account will be locked to 5 worlds with a bounty of 1 billion GP for whoever PKs me. The goal for this episode is to get a unique drop from Vedion. The account I will be playing on is the hardcore on which I did 2k revenants at 27 combats back in 2020. And since then I prepared this account so we could get straight into the interesting stuff. Let's start this new adventure. The first goal is simple. Go to green dragons in the wilderness, collect enough dragon bones to get 70 prayer at the chaos altar and collect hard clues for some essential upgrades. But first I have to get some supplies. <laughs> there it is, the classic RNG excuse, but that is 1k LMS points and that will give me wilderness supplies for a very very long time. There we go, Maiden down, obviously thanks to me and my bone crossbow, blow down as well and we get 8 points, that's not the best but it's still 2 brews. And there we go, the final 3 brews, I'm now at a total of 10 brews and that should be enough for the first wilderness adventure. And this is a massive purchase for the account, because in the wilderness you want to do everything as fast as possible. I absolutely hate this part of being a wilderness hardcore, but that's over 10k cannonballs, and that should speed up the green dragons quite a lot. Blue dragon skills collected, that is blue dragon skill dust, botanical pie made, and there we go, anti-fires unlocked, beautiful. And there we go, the Ring of Elf imbued. And this ring doubles the amount of clues you get in the wilderness and that's gonna be very very good. Now there is one item that I need to complete the full champion outfit. And there we go, Dragon Gloves obtained. <laughs> I really need to get some upgrades. Alright, this is the first real wilderness adventure since leaving Revenants. The supplies are looking good, the gear is looking amazing. Let's get some clue scrolls. Hey, the first ever hard clue. Of course I have to do a quest for the first ever hard clue. That's enough Taibo on a favor. My arms big adventure completed. Let's go finish this clue scroll. Okay, Cecilia, please. <laughs> oh, that's so lucky, dudes. I mean, it's an incredible DPS increase, but most importantly, I needed this for Temple of Vykov, so I can do Desert Treasure, so I can complete Recipe for Disaster and get Barrow's Gloves. And I get it from the first clue. <laughs> That's amazing. Temple of Vykov completed. Desert Treasure completed, which means I can now finally finish RFD. And Ancients is also very big in the wilderness now, especially for escaping. Recipe for Disaster completed. And there you go, Barrow's Gloves obtained and I look a bit less like a champion now. A bit of a random grind, but that is 50 construction and I have a very good reason. And boom, that is a altar mate and mind altar teleports. And this is a fast and unscoutable route to the green dragons. A 70 air blower, that means I can now clean dwarf weeds and that means I can now easily make ranging potions. There we go, my first ever ranging potions, which is a massive unlock, especially with my MSB. And now it's time to do something which used to terrify me when I was a kid. And there we go, Jad is out of the game, Fire Cape unlocked, and again that just makes me a little bit less of a champion. And with these upgrades it's now time to go back to the green dragons for more dragon bones and more clue scrolls. Ooh, I got a clue scroll. Alright, second ever clue. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> how? How am I so lucky? I mean it's also green but it's a lot better than my current green dragon eye top. <laughs> it's so nice. Glue scroll, glue scroll, glue scroll. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I mean, blessed chaps would have been even better, but this is basically everything I wanted in six clues. <laughs> that's so lucky. Glue scroll. Wait, what? I mean, this shouldn't be an easy tank unless he KOs me.
Okay, there is a spec. Okay. That was so weird though, it looked like he was waiting for me. That's, that's very interesting. And this should be the final dragon. Let's go have a look at the dragon bone stack. And that is 1445 dragon bones and that is enough for 70 prayer at the chaos altar. But we're not gonna go to the chaos altar just yet, because first I have to upgrade my gear, starting with my cape slot. And that upgrade may very well be the end of me, because I wanna go for a full completion of Mage Arena 2. But first, I need to get some mage levels. Yes, please. And there is the ancient staff, which means I can now autocast ancients, and it's also a very good staff for tanking. There we go, that's all of the mystic pieces I need, 12k chaos runes and 6k death runes, that should get me quite a few levels. And there is 77 mage, which means I can now boost for the charge spell, and that is gonna make mage arena 2 a lot nicer. And that is 1.4k blood runes, which is more than enough for mage arena 1 and 2. It is time. Alright, time to start Matrina 1. I have 9 brews, so even if I do get found, that should be enough to tank. Alright, now it's time to unlock the god spells, and that's a scary one because you're basically just standing there in 50 wilderness casting spells for 15 minutes. That's Zemi Flames unlocked, Claws of Gothics unlocked, and Sarah Strike unlocked. This was nerve wracking already, and this was the easy part. And there it is, Mage Arena 2, fully completed, it's such a good feeling. But the scary part is that this is not even close to the most scary thing that I have planned. 73 Herblore, and this might not seem like a special level, but this means that I can now easily boost for Stamina Potions. Stamina Potions finally unlocked! And that's amazing, because I cannot stand walking on this game. 
and there is 90 strength. It's now time to switch to attack. And the reason why I'm doing this in NMZ is because I want to get as many points as possible. And you'll see why in the future. I didn't record because I was way too AFK, but that is 80 attack. My melee stats finished for now. And I also have a lot of NMZ points, which is going to be very nice. And there we go. That is 80 mage. And there we go. That is my Barrow's portal unlocked. Time to get some massive upgrades. The upgrades I'm looking for are a good tank helm, some good tank legs, and if I'm very lucky, I'll take some carols and arms pieces. Let's do this. I actually got a double chest, and that's it's a tank helm which I needed really, really bad, and the torx plate is also very nice. <laughs> that's so good. 90 hit points and I always love getting these levels because the higher the HP, the lower the chance of being one hit. Oh, that's a nice one. I mean, it's a very slight upgrade from the ancient stuff defensive wise, but in the wilderness, every upgrade matters. Wasn't recording because I'm a moron, but that's an Arab's rope skirt, which is massive for escaping nowadays. I'm actually lucky now. Dude, what? I'm one item from completing the Aram set, which is so good nowadays. I'm just missing the rope top. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. 137 KC and I have full Arams. <laughs> and it's so good. I mean, it has better mage and accuracy bonus and better defense bonus than Mystics, which makes it so good for freeze escaping. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 147kc and I have the tank legs, which is all I need. I could stay for the K-top, but that is just way too rare. I'll take it, I'm out. And that is 1500 total. I'm such a skiller. A 77 Herblore, again, it might not seem like a big level, but this means that I can now easily boost for Ceradomin Bruce. And there are my self-made Ceradomin Bruce. And this is big for the series because I'll most likely be using a lot of them. So it's now time to get my Berserker Ring, which is going to be essential for Vedion. And you may ask yourself, why didn't I get this before training my melee stats? And the answer is... It is not what I want, it is not what I need, but it is a unique, so I'll take it. There it is. Oh, I'm so happy that I got this under the drop rate this time. Let's get out. And this is part of the reason why I wanted so many NMZ points. And there we go. Berserkering imbued, and this is a massive upgrade. Yes, okay. I did some more barrows in hopes of maybe getting the K-top, but I'll take this. This is an upgrade for magic defense bonus and prayer bonus, so that's a very nice item for stuff like wilderness layer and stuff, so time to move on to the next upgrade. And that is more than enough runes. Not looking forward to this unlock, but it has to be done. Enchantment done, so that should be all of the points that we need. And there we go, Infinity Boots unlocked, a big upgrade for Magic Accuracy, Magic Defense Bonus, and Fashion Scape. And there are the Nail Beast Nails, by far the most annoying ingredients. Six of them should be enough for now. And there we go, Homemade Sandview Serums, very nice. So I just got 56 crafting with one sole reason. And there we go, that's a diamond necklace. And there is the phoenix necklace, which is an essential item for tanking a multi. And after all of this preparation, it is finally time for the chaos altar. And it is gonna end in one of two ways. I'm gonna get 70 prayer and unlock piety, or I'm gonna die trying to. Okay, that was quite a slow logout. I need to be more on point with those. Jeez.
Jesus. Um, I'm pretty sure he had a D-Spear. That is one of the most terrifying sights in multi. Oh, there was a game update. Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought I DC'd, oh that was so scary. So my XP per hour is actually quite decent, 285k per hour, so around 2 hours for 70 prayer, which is pretty decent, but still a long time to stand in multi. And that's 60 prey, so chivalry unlocked and a bunch of other stuff, but we're not gonna stop there obviously. That's the second time now someone locked under me, that is scary. What? I click log out. I click log out, I'm sure. And we're out. Thankfully, he was respectfully a, a noob and solo. But this is making me even more paranoid because I'm sure that I clicked log out in time. Bro, I offered one bone and there was a peak here already. What is this? Wait, what? There's an update again. Nah, 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 nah. Jagex actually pulled a Jagex and there is going to be a rollback and that means that I'm gonna lose spray levels which I gained at the Chaos Altar and I'm not happy about it. There was quite a bit of downtown but we're finally back and the damage is 4 prey levels so from 62 to 58. It's not the worst thing in the world but it is annoying. And there is 60 prayer for the second time. Hopefully we get to keep it now. I clicked. I'm I'm so sure I clicked. This guy's actually quite decent. He's got some pretty good fakies, but he shouldn't have TB, so I should be fine here. Thank god it's a bolter. I'm convinced now that there has to be a certain game tick where you just can't log out. And that is terrifying. Just one more level and I can leave this horrible place. I have never been so happy to see a level that is 70 prayer, 100% at the Chaos Altar, and we're still alive. <clears throat> I forgot once again that you actually have to do a quest to unlock piety, so let's go do that. There we go, King's Ransom completed, the Knight's Training Grounds completed, that is a lot of XP. And there we go. That feels amazing. Alright, all I'm missing now is a teleport that works from 30 Wilderness, so it's time for a trip to the Fountain of Rune. And it is charged. Beautiful. No charges wasted. Home tally it is. And now it's sinking in that there are no more grinds, there are no excuses. 
I'm actually going to Vedion on my Heart Cry Man. Now you most likely think that going to Vedion on a hardcore is a suicide mission, and you're not wrong. But there is a method that makes it somewhat possible. It requires a crush weapon of choice, some good armor in case things do go wrong, a massive object to hide under, and a massive gamer to set up the lure. And just to clarify, he is not allowed to protect me, and he's also not planning to. Alright, here we go. My heart is racing. And the first kill, super compost, that's actually... Wait, I'm in combat, that's no good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is just a bad idea, bro. What am I doing? Ooh, Goldor. Not too bad. <whistles> okay, that was a decent reaction time. There were more peak gears, so we decided to call it for a bit, and apparently I'm not using a solve ME, which is probably why the kills were so slow. So let's get ourselves an enchanted solve ME, and that should make this a lot nicer. There we go, mini quest completed. Yoink, thank you for the diary. And there we have it, the solve ME, and this is massive for Vedion. 20% accuracy and damage, that is huge. The DPS with the solve ME is so much nicer. I'm actually hitting now. And there is 20 KC. I'm pretty sure this guy on my minimap is a PVMer, so I'm gonna risk it. Man, why does the risk never pay off? Alright, there's too many peak ears again, so we're gonna call it for the day. Did I really walk to Ferox to save one charge? Absolutely. The looting bag is again not too bad, but it could be better. Alright, another day at the skeleton and the plan is to go hard today. Alright, my friend is telling me to leave because the account he lures on got peak gate, but I'm risking it. It is never ever ever worth the risk. Oh, that's such a nice drop for my account. That is so, so nice. Ooh, that is the same team again. Oh my god, yo. I actually felt it. I actually felt it. It sounds so stupid, but I felt it. There it is. The unique from Vedion. That's insane. Okay, I need to chill now because I have one more mission. If I can get to 50kc, I will be on the front page of the Vetion high scores forever. And there we go, 50 Vetion kc, that is a combat task completed, and we're also on the high scores now. And that is Vetion completed, for now at least. And as promised, I will now lock myself to these 5 worlds, and whoever PKs me will get at least 1 billion GP. It is gonna get crazy, I'll see you soon.